What? Yeah, Ivan, go in this locker. What should I go in this locker for? You get free candy. I mean, I mean, I do like free candy and skivity, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no! This game is awesome. I got <laughs> Hello. So a few weeks ago, this game named Pressure came out, and it's probably one of the best Roblox games I've ever played. It's kind of like Doors, and if you play Roblox, you've probably heard of Doors. And it's one of the direct inspirations for Pressure. In my opinion, it's also a really good game, and most of my comparisons for Pressure will be to Doors, because they're the most similar. Also, while playing it, I discovered why it was named Pressure. It's because it puts pressure on my tiny little heart that's equivalent to living 50 years. The ambient noises in this game are definitely going to give me a heart attack someday. I got so scared, you can literally see me try to pause the game and it not work. Also, speaking of noises, the music in this game is just so fitting. Whether it's a monster trying to slam me out of a locker, or you're just straight up gambling your money away. The music has not failed to set the tone for me. It's one of the reasons this game feels different than just playing Doors, despite them being the same base concept. The care put into both of these soundtracks is what elevates these games. It makes you feel so much more than a crappy obby with goofy music would. No, because seriously, what the fuck is this? The voice acting in this game also helps give this game a great feeling to it, which leads me to the best part of the game, Sebastian. <laughs> now, I know Sebastian isn't the only character with a voice in the game, but he is without a doubt the best addition. He puts so much life into the game, whether he's making fun of you after you die. Oh. You really suck at this, huh? Yeah, okay, jackass. Or he's calling you bestie after you enter his shop. Hey, bestie. <laughs> or best of all, when you piss him off with a flash beacon. Ah! Oh shit! Don't do that again. He broke my thing! He broke my flash beacon! My name's Sethy Sloth. Welcome to Jackass. Ah! <laughs> what the f he shot me? What the <laughs> he does so much for the world building by giving you these documents and telling you how to avoid these monsters in his own snarky little way. He also gives you access to the dead drop shop, allowing you to buy items off the start of each run to aid you throughout the game, which leads me into my next topic, the items. Now don't get me wrong, the items aren't bad, but there are so many that I don't really think having this many is entirely necessary. But having variety to choose from is not really a bad thing, though I think there should be more variations of other items instead of four versions of the flashlight. Of course, I'm not a developer, and they probably plan on putting more items in the game at some point, but I personally like how Doors does their items instead, sometimes having a base item and then one or two items that fall under that same category of item. A few examples of this are the flashlight and the lighter. All jokes aside, the items in the game are very good, and my favorite item is probably going to be the flash beacon, for obvious reasons. But my favorite part of this game, and any game, is just having fun with my friends. There's a guy coming, he's coming from the front, so don't open that door. I'm getting back up! I will appreciate if you get me out of this locker. I need to get gunned down by these turrets. If I don't see a turret in the next five minutes, bro. Oh, shit, right there! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. That run in too soon. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Are you stupid or something? I'm sorry, Sebastian. I'll leave. What is this? Imaginary friend. Who is that? Who's that? Where? Who is that? What is? What are you talking about? Wait, what? It's a what are you? Imaginary friend. What? Thank you for using oh. our limited time imaginary friend remote. Oh, what the f Oh, I thought that guy was coming back. Dude, the ambience in this game is actually so scary, though. <laughs> nah, there's nothing scarier than f***ing Minecraft cave sounds. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're sorry. That shit is terrifying. This is what we call playing it safe. Yeah, see, it's so f***ing boring. Why do I have the lights flicking now? 
<laughs> That's f***ing crazy. It's the f***ing second you leave your hiding spot. This is straight run. Straight run, straight run. Yes! Really? Yes! Victory screech! No, 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 I know this video didn't really cover everything about the game, but that's mostly because I want people to experience it for themselves. And other reasons. Also, this was my first time trying to do a lot of voiceovers in a video, and as you can probably tell, I'm not the best at it, considering my tone changed a hundred times throughout the video. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.